Hey everyone, Dave here and welcome to Bone Lab Overview. It seems like it's the most important video of this year so far. Also, I've not seen that much hype, I don't even know, maybe since Resident Evil, maybe ever actually. I feel like Bone Lab is about to break some records today and it's just what's happening in the community because of it is actually crazy. This is essentially a follow-up of the game called Boneworks that I've tried before. It was already three years ago, like the time flies by. I remember I don't think I've enjoyed it as much as I did because I did not have experience in VR. It was almost like the beginning of my PC VR journey because I started with Quest and at the end of the day the gameplay was kinda confusing to me. The general consensus apparently is that if you want to enjoy Bone Lab, you should have been able to enjoy the other one as well. So it's gonna be interesting how today's video goes by. The important prefix is that I'm not a fan of sandboxes at all, but maybe the experience will be better now because few years passed by and I view games in a totally different manner than before, so it's just gonna be interesting. <laughs> so Bone Lab is an extensive sandbox simulator game where you're put in the hidden underground research facility, expected to overcome various challenges and experiments with a fully realized physics mechanics. What I nowadays pursue is innovation and narration. Those two things combined to me make for an amazing experience overall. Doesn't really matter what the genre is based on. With Bone Works, I didn't feel like it was necessary a game to do a playthrough or something that's very cohesive so that's why it's branded as a sandbox. Bone Lab's premise apparently is to offer more storyline and a feeling that you're actually playing a game rather than a title that you just do random things for no reason. If I'm gonna get confused or lost in the gameplay we'll have to see. It's really hard to tell now though through doing research and seeing various trailers it really offers some very fun mechanics and things that actually I've never seen and to me it's all about that bringing innovation to the VR scene. You're gonna be able to fully mod it with your preferences in terms of the maps, gameplay avatars like you don't see stuff like that nowadays and I realize why people are excited about it because they should be. It's just a bit scary that it's not gonna be for everyone because it's very intense and the more complex things are the less of the spread will it have across the community. Projects like that tend to be an inspiration for future generations and many other games using the same mechanics. At the end of the day it's cool to see people getting excited over something like that. It just means that VR is fully not dead and it has a promising future for us. Let's go to the gameplay! Well, that's a bummer. Another one with no idea whatsoever. At this point I'm like rolling the dice with meta and it's shitty ass software, like this company annoys me like no other and it just sucks that again the same shit happens. Nevertheless we're gonna do what we did last time. If you can't stand my voice in game then you're in for a treat. <laughs> so overall my thoughts on the Quest 2 version are pretty darn good. It's actually a game, like an adventure that you have physics attached to it and it kinda made me think that every single VR game should have been like that because it kinda reflects the reality and we are in virtual reality so we should not be like simplifying things but then again every other project would be just a nightmare to do the playthrough on. The mechanics feel nice and the gameplay I received better than Boneworks honestly. If it's due to the experience or not I'm not sure but I could normally play it and not have many problems with it. Grabbing and triggering stuff is a little bit all over the place for me. Over time I feel like I could get used to it. They're not like a nuisance, they add up to the experience and make it more challenging that way. There is some kind of story going on, like I was pretty surprised because I was expected to be just thrown in with no instructions whatsoever and walk around pointlessly but I was feeling relatively well progressing throughout the levels. If you listen to subtle text appearing on the screen and follow your instincts what to do, you should be good to go. Graphics for Quest 2 specifically are pretty good as well. It's not like a huge downgrade comparing to other games. If you don't really pay attention to shading and lightning then it's not bad at all. Question stands, will I do a playthrough on it? If the audio failed now I'm not sure what's gonna happen to other footage. Normally I would do the PC VR one and maybe there it actually works. So we'll have to see, I have some stuff to do as well. Wrapping it up, was the hype worth it at the end of the day? For physics enthusiasts I can very much see this being amazing. For other people like me it seems it really 
intriguing, mysterious. You wanna find out what's next and what's gonna happen, so it's exciting in that regard. Repeating what I said before, screw you, Meta, like I just hate you. <laughs> and let me just go cry in the corner.